so it's five people. Uh, yeah, there is exactly five more than last year. Uh, so welcome to my talk again about Federal Workstation Usex Guide. Uh, my name is Siri Eshman, if you don't know me. Yeah, no, can you hear me? But, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I've been a uh, federal ambassador for the last seven years and I've been uh, pretty much leading uh, this project that puts the federal workstation users guide, even though I'm not really a DOCS specialist. Uh, basically, the history of that is that uh, it was originally written in Czech by Lukáš Kotek, one of the, the, the community members in the Czech Republic, three years ago. Uh, we, uh, at that time, were discontinuing the, uh, the DVDs, which were uh, like a typical handout to or giveaway to people at, at conferences, etc. sort of incentive that would uh, make them look into Fedora once they get home. But yeah, no, nowadays no one really has a uh, uh, DVD uh, drive and USB uh, flash drives are still too expensive to, to give away in larger quantities. So we came up with, with something like this. Uh, it was first as a, as a pilot uh, released in September uh, 2015 in Czech. So first we wanted to try how it's gonna work in the like a smaller Czech community. And then if it really uh, has positive feedback, then we would translate it into English. Uh, which we did in the end. The English then became the, the new origin. Uh, last year in March, we moved to Pajur from, uh, from Git, uh, GitHub. Uh, we changed branding to Fedora Workstation. Originally it was uh, gen, uh, generic book like, uh, about Fedora, even though the content was basically about, about Fedora Workstation, but Matthew Miller wanted us to, to brand it as Fedora Workstation book. Uh, the first English release was in July 2017, and then we produced the books, uh, these books in September 2017. So the goal, as I as I mentioned, is a giveaway, uh, and it should help people learn about Fedora Workstation, install it, and start using it. So basically, the uh, the scope is from knowing uh, nothing about Fedora uh, through where to get it, how to install it, how to start using it, how to get familiar with with the OS. So uh, the book is written quite in a generic way so it doesn't have to be up updated and every every release uh it uh teaches the the user or uh, uh, uh the person or potential user about the values of fedora how it uh, get installed how uh, where to find applications etc so how how we how it actually works, it's it's still not part of Fedora Docs uh, for various reasons. Uh, I, I, I'm hoping that it, it, it gets adopted uh, in some way, but uh, I haven't really had time to uh, talk about that with uh, the Fedora Docs people. So as I said, it's hosted on Pejur. We've got, uh, right now we've got two benches. So master, that's the uh, that's where we work on the uh, the next version, and then once we are happy with uh, the next version, which we, we ideally we'd like to release uh, one version a year, uh, at least for the origin, then we bench it to a stable uh, bench called by that year. So we've got right now 2017. Once uh, 2018 is finished, then we will create 2018. Uh, the sources are in, in ASCII doc, scripts that we have there, uh, like simple scripts generate a doc book, HTML, PDF. Uh, the PDF is just uh, the for the preview purposes. And then we have one volunteer in, uh, in Brno office 
a lot into uh, tech and latex, and he then he spends a few days uh, on that and produces uh, a paint quality PDF. As you can look at it, the the type setting is is, is pretty nice uh, in, in done in latex. That's uh, I think the the most painful part of the process because that can't really be automated to uh, to generate really uh, nice results. And that person says he can do it for English and Czech because he knows the p the type setting rules, etc. But he can't really do it for every or any other uh, language. So basically, even if people uh, <coughs> produce like the the digital ver versions in their language, translate it, then there still needs to be someone who does the the the, uh, the manual type setting in LaTeX, produces the, the paint quality PDF, and then finds like a painter where you can uh, when, where you can paint it. So basically, that's the reason why we have only produced the Czech and English version, even though right now we've got missing I think translation to. Uh, Spanish, actually the, the Venezuelan, uh, yeah, that's you? Okay, great, thanks for translations. But uh, I, I, would, I, I would like to hear if there, if, if there is any way how to, 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 to more streamline uh, this process. Uh, I even offer that we have a, we have a good uh, relationship with one uh, painting agency, actually the owner is a, Big fan, uh, a big Linux fan and user, and he even gives us a, a like a pretty good price. Like to pay to paint this book, it's about uh, fifty dollar cents, which I think is pretty fine because, for example, the DVD was like thirty five, forty uh, uh, dollar cents. Uh, while if you want to produce, for example, a USB uh, flash disc, that's like at least. Two, three, four dollars, and none of them are very, very, very reliable. So basically, those are. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, but uh, you can find it on Peugeot. It's in the the ambassadors uh, group or project and the, uh, the project is called Fedora Handbook. Uh, we haven't really integrated with any uh, with any translation system. Uh, I'm originally I was not very open to that for one reason that usually uh, those those systems are more designed for translating software and they usually break the uh, the text into uh, strings or uh, paragraphs and uh, so the the, tra the translators don't really usually see the whole text and only see parts of it and once they translate it by paragraphs that usually the the, uh, the result is not uh, that good so originally I was I was uh, quite against that and I, I uh, the way I wanted uh, the translators to work on it is basically just uh, fork the, the repo, create a, a folder or di directory that is named after the code of uh, their language, copy the, the English content there, and make basic uh, translate the uh, the content of uh, ASCII files. Uh, if if any, like if uh, if someone comes up and says, like hey, let's let's for example integrate it with with Zanata, I'm um, not really against that anymore. Uh, if it streamlines uh, streamlines the the process and makes it uh, easier for people, because as I said, like uh, this way, like it, uh, it was uh, basically proved that it doesn't fly very well, uh, getting just one one translation. And that's that's basically uh, f all from uh, what I wanted to say. 
and the reason why I s uh, no, propose this talk is more about getting feedback and maybe talking about how to how to do it better. Because as I said, it's basically uh, uh, I as a, as a project leader of this came out of necessity that it came from uh, the ambassador's project, but none of the the original people in that are. Uh, docs people, so maybe we are doing something fairly wrong that or uh, stuff that can be improved, either in the process or uh, how it's how it's produced or even the content itself. That's another uh, thing I'd like to, uh, for example, hear a feedback from you. If there is anything you really you really miss, it's the uh, the goal or scope of it uh, shouldn't really be like a complete uh, user guide to Fedora, but it really it should really cover. The, the journey from hearing uh, about Fedora for the first time and installing it and getting familiar with that. So it shouldn't be really like a complete guide where to uh, set things, etc. Basically just you know to get the user to the point where he's sort of familiar with, with the system. Also we, we want to make it uh, too large. Let's say I think right now it's about 33 pages, so it could be a bit longer, but then it, uh, if it gets over, for example, 50 pages, then it gets also more expensive to print. Uh, so anything? Uh, so it's uh, on Pager, and if you look for, for example, Fedora, uh, Dash handbook, you should get. Yeah. At first, I I was uh, very excited to have a uh, a handbook because it's really useful for, for newcomers to, to have a guide that teach them how to go through the system. But, uh, you know, I was working in the translation, but I stopped it because the English translation wasn't ready. So it's ready now to start working again in translations. And the other thing I want to ask is, I know Sanata is a great project to translation, but I think it's not the best way to apply here because there is no way that Sanata will produce an ASCII doc as output. So you will be able to translate every paragraph, but you are going to receive an HTML file, I think. Not not an ASCII doc file, so you are not be able to test the PDF printing from the uh, uh, Sanata. That's a way I understand. Maybe I'm wrong, but because I have a, a project in Sanata, but I want to the the HTML file, and it works for me. So mm, the the question is: the uh, English translation is ready to be translated to another languages? Because when the time I stopped uh, the Spanish translation b was because of that, because it's not ready to start the, the English version. Yeah, basically, uh, so I'd like, I'd like to have the uh, English version uh, done for, for this year in a month or two. So once once uh, we are fine uh, or okay with the, uh, the English version, we will just make that the branch again. I now that uh, I I ha haven't even pushed the changes I made into uh, into the repository yet. Uh, basically, I was waiting for this for this meeting. Like if like people look at and read through the book, like uh, just for the new. You wanna take a look for the newcomer? Oh. Fine. Okay. Yeah, it is online. 